What's going on YouTube? Wade here. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to jailbreak your iPhone, your iPod Touch, your iPad, and even your Apple TV with this new program called Green Poison. This jailbreak is untethered, which means that you will be able to turn off your device and turn it back on without actually using the jailbreak program to do so, which is extremely awesome. Thank you so much, Chronic Dev Team, for making this jailbreak for us. Anyway, um, the actual iPhones and iPod Touches that are compatible with this jailbreak are these. Um, iPhones, iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, and iPhone 3G, iPod Touches, iPod Touch 4, iPod Touch 3G, and iPod Touch 2G MC model only, okay? Um, and of, of course the iPad and Apple TV are in their own little category by themselves, but other than that, we're all set to go. So, before we get started, I'm going to have you guys download the actual program that you need, Green Poison. I will have links for those. Hold on one second. Down in the video description. Uh, if you don't know what the video description is, just look down here below um, in the video. And there's like a little box that has text and a link and stuff like that. Just uh, open that up and you will see links for Green Poison, okay? So after you download Green Poison onto your computer, whether it be for Windows or Macintosh, you're going to take your iPhone, your iPod Touch, or whatever, make sure that it's plugged in via USB to your computer, and it's running on version 4.2.1 firmware. Um, if you don't know how to check and see what firmware that you're running on, go to Start, I'm sorry, go to Settings, go to General, About, if you scroll down, it should say version 4.2.1 version 4.2.1 if it says that you're all set to go okay okay so after your device is plugged in via USB and you downloaded your program we're gonna go ahead and open it up run all right it says right here that we got to, um, to prepare our device and put it in the DFU mode, um, but honestly, don't worry about that. I'm going to show you step by step how to put your device in the DFU mode so you don't have to, okay? So what we're going to do right here is, hold on one second, back up the camera just a tad. Okay, what we're going to do is hold down the home button right here and the power button for at least eight seconds, okay? Um, the screen will go black on your device, and that's how you know you're the first step is done, okay? So after the screen goes black, you're going to release the uh, power button right here, and keep holding down on the home button for another 8 to 7 seconds, okay? After that, your device will be in DFU mode. Um, once again, I'm going to show you step by step how to do that, okay? So, ready, set, go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Give it a second. Um, you should get this little message down here below um, on your computer saying that it's trying to install this new Apple driver or something like that. If it um, does that, then you're doing the right thing, okay? If you're on a Macintosh, it shouldn't do that. Uh, but iTunes should pop up saying that your device is in recovery mode and you're going to have to like restore it to actually use it. Don't restore it. Just close iTunes and um, do this next step, okay? So right here, we're going to um, press the prepare for jailbreak in DFU. Alright, we're already in DFU. So right now, just press jailbreak right there. We'll start the jailbreak. Okay, now it's going through the jailbreak process. Just give it some time. Now 
Now, while this is doing its thing, I want to remind you guys that you can follow me on Twitter or Facebook. I will have links down in the video description. If you don't mind, you can do that. And I will always keep you guys up to date on what's going on in the jailbreak community and stuff like that. Or if you don't have either one of those, you can always subscribe to me on YouTube. I will have links for everything down in the video description. The same place where you got your uh, download links for the Green Poison. Just wait for the reboot. Okay, now we're going to slide to unlock. We're going to scroll over. Right there is Loader. We're going to use this to install Cydia on our devices. Make sure that your Wi-Fi connection is enabled so you can actually install Cydia. Right there, Cydia. Tap that. Install Cydia. Okay, now we're going to exit out of the application, and it will automatically um, respring itself, or reboot, my bad. <laughs> okay, we're going to slide to unlock, scroll over, and now you have Cydia on your device, okay? Um, if you want to, you can actually delete the loader application. It's no big deal if you don't want to or not, but I'm going to go into Cydia for the first time to prove to you that it is working. And that's pretty much it, guys. This is Koi2281. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see y'all later. Peace.